Hello? Hey, how are you? I haven't seen you in work in like a week. I've been calling you, but it always goes to voicemail. You don't sound good. Are you alright? What happened? Ugh, I knew it. I kept telling you that guy was no good. You're much better without him. Besides, you got me. I'll keep you company, so don't worry. I hope you forget all about him. What? But why? You can't still be alone. You don't need space, you need me there to help you. That's what I'm here for. If you distance yourself, the pain will only get worse. <sighs> Fine, I'll check up on you tomorrow. You'd better be back to your normal self, or I'll come over and take care of you until you recover. All right, talk to you then. Hey, you there? Hey, how are you? Any better than yesterday? Huh? What happened this time? <sighs> I knew she'd do that. I kept telling you she was fake. I wish you'd listen to me sometimes, but it's all right. She's gone then. Let her go. She doesn't deserve to be your friend anyway. Hmm? What about me? Yeah, I knew she didn't like me. Ever since I started talking to you, she was so weird with me. I had tried to get along with her, you saw. But she was adamant on having you to herself. Such a jealous ex-friend. Don't be sad. You don't need her. I'm here for you. In fact, I can be your new best... Huh? Oh, it's not the time, huh? Uh, yeah, of course, I get it. You still need time to heal. Yeah, so, will I see you to work tomorrow? Oh, yeah, because, you know, the boss is getting kind of angry with you calling out. I could talk to him if you want. Oh, you know, just try to get him to chill out and give you a little more time to recuperate. Right, I'll talk to him. Yeah, don't worry about it, I can handle it. Right, I'll call you again tomorrow, okay? See ya. Hey, how goes it? You sound happier. Did something good happen, or are you all patched up? What? No, of course I'm not pleased. He was caught cheating, wasn't he? You said so yourself. There's the recording and all. But why would you get back with him just because he cried to you about a misunderstanding? That recording is no misunderstanding. That's his sister. And what proof did he give? So he strung together a video of his sister with the rest of his family. You realize he could have faked that, right? Oh, pictures of him in her parents' house and baby albums. Should have done more research. What? Nothing. Look, I'm just worried he'll hurt you again. Maybe it's best you two stay split up. Because, like, what if this happens again and he strings together another video to prove his innocence? Girl, he's a jerk. He doesn't love you. You said so yourself. I don't get why you're crawling back to him. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just looking out for you because I'm your best- Did she hang up on me? <laughs> no, no. Her service went out. She wouldn't do that. I'll just call back. Leave a message at the turn. Hey, I think your service cut out. Or maybe your phone died, so I was calling back. I'll call back again later. I'm sorry for not supporting you and your boyfriend, though. I'm really just worried about you. Talk to you later. Hey, it's me again, returning your call. Um, I hope you're not busy or something. 
If you are, I'm sorry for bothering you, but I just want to check if you're okay. So please return my call when you get the chance. <sighs> I've been calling you every day, three times a day, for three days now. What is going on? Why aren't you answering my calls or tests? Are you mad at something? Please don't hold a grudge against me. I'm your best friend and I just want to make things right. Please, please call me back as soon as you can. I heard she was at your place the other day. I hope you care to explain that. She has no business with you. She betrayed you. If you need my help dealing with her, please let me know. I don't want you to make dumb mistakes you'll regret. I'm here to help you, so please reach out to me. Bye. So I spoke to her today. She said that you said I'm a bad friend and don't want to talk to me anymore. I hope that's not true, but seeing as though you're ignoring my texts and yes, ignoring because they're sending, they're delivered, but you never look at them. Maybe this is because I didn't like your boyfriend. I told you I was sorry, but that wasn't enough. How about I try to be more accepting of you two? Please, will that work? I promise I'll do my best. Please, contact me so we can talk this out. You've got to be kidding me. You can't really be serious right now. What the heck possessed you to delete all our pictures off your social media? All of them. You even did it on Facebook. No one uses Facebook. How could you do that? I've always been there for you. I treated you so good. I was the bestest friend I could be to you. And this is the thanks I get. I kept all your dirty secrets. I even stayed patient when you wouldn't tell me things. Friends, no. Best friends tell each other everything. I should have been told every single tiny piece of information there was to know about you. But you always want privacy. Best friends don't get privacy. I am to know everything. That's just why I had to do research of my own. You made that other girl your best friend again. <laughs> okay. We'll just see how long she stands, shall we? You forget I know my way around people. I always get what I want. <laughs> Still not answering, are we? I thought me spilling that pathetic girl's private life all over the internet would have persuaded you. All right then, I have other means of making you cave in. Don't think this is over, not for a second. You are my best friend. You need me and me alone. You'll see that soon enough. You know, Maybe it's a good thing you're not answering the phone. I had a little talk with that friend of yours. <laughs> I really don't think she wants to be your friend anymore after I paid her visit. I'm very convincing, you know. You wouldn't have wanted to hear it. The longer you ignore me, the more people will disappear from your life. Next up on the list, that boyfriend of yours. <laughs> oh, love, still ignoring me. No problem. I hope you're at least listening to your voicemails. 
that boyfriend of yours, he's decided to go abroad for work. <laughs> Isn't that great? And by the way, he also mentioned that he, uh, this may sound awful, but he said he didn't want you anymore anyway. Isn't that just heartless? I told you he was no good, but you never listen. Anyway, it would be wise if you listen to your voicemails and call me back. If not, that's fine too. Gives me more time to speak to those who are obstacles for us. <laughs> oh dear, you really made me go and do it. You should really listen to your voicemails. Your boss called you. He's furious. You're jobless now, by the way. <laughs> Gives us more time to spend with one another, yeah? I can't wait. There's only one stop left. Your family. I'll find a way to get them out of the picture. After that, there'll be nothing in our way. <laughs> Bye-bye now. Thank you for not answering the phone all this time. I wouldn't have wanted you to talk me out of getting rid of all those people. Ah, but don't fret. No one is dead or severely injured. Your parents are no longer worried about you either. They think you ran off to find your boyfriend. I mean, I can't say they aren't worried, but... They especially don't expect what's actually happening, or what's about to happen. <laughs> I hope you have your bags packed. We're going on a trip. I'll be there to pick you up real soon. Don't bother running or hiding, though. Not that you'll hear this in time, but still. We'll see you later, then. Hey, hey! Come to the door. You have one minute. Don't make me lose patience, love. Come to the door. Alright, you don't want to, no problem. Good thing I made a spare key to your apartment. See you in just a moment, best friend. Hmm. Playing hide and seek, are we? Not a problem. I know you're home. I keep surveillance on this place. You haven't left in about a week. So let's see here. There's no space for you to hide in the kitchen, bathroom, or living room. The only options are your bedroom and closets. <laughs> this will be a fun game. Hmm, not under the bed. Which is the only place you could hide besides a closet. You only have two closets. I think I know exactly which one you're in. I love you. You're my best friend. I love you. You're my only friend. We'll always be friends. <laughs> Hold still. This will be over in a moment. There we go. You have a good rest. You'll wake up in your brand new home with a brand new life. No one will be in our way. We'll be friends. Forever. <laughs> <laughs>